I'd like to show you how to use OpenFAS to deploy functions to both Kubernetes and Lambda at the same time. So we've got two new providers that I'm going to use in this demonstration, FAS Lambda and FAS Federation. Let's start by taking a look at FAS Lambda. We've got a standard OpenFAS Kubernetes installation here. We've got no functions deployed. We've got the standard set of OpenFAS containers running. We've got the gateway, NATS, Prometheus, QWorker, FASNetis, and a new provider there, FAS Lambda. And if we go over to my Amazon console, you can see we've got no functions running there. We've also got nothing in OpenFAS. So let's deploy a simple function that allows us to query the TLS certificate information for a given domain and store that output in S3. So we're deploying this to Lambda. You can see that it's logging out here in the fast Lambda. It's downloaded a container. It's extracted the image layers and repackaged it and uploaded that to uh, AWS Lambda. So if we do a fast list, you can see that that function's ready to be invoked. Equally, if we use the Amazon Lambda CLI, we can see that that function exists. So the first thing I'm gonna do is invoke this um, using the CLI. So we're gonna to ask to see the certificate information for Google, and then we're going to download it from the S3 bucket and cat it to the terminal. So you see that's worked. We could have also invoked that directly in using the Lambda UI. First of all, we'll just uh, have to create some test objects. And we're gonna look at the GitHub certificate. So you can see that succeeded and it would have put, created a text file in that bucket called github.com. So I'm now going to remove that deployment and I do faz list now. That would have gone away. Equally, if I use the Amazon CLI, it's no longer there. What I want to show you now is deploying um, a stack with multiple functions, but sending some of those functions to Kubernetes and some of them to Lambda. So this is a standard open faz stack YAML. Uh, it's got an annotation called uh, Com Open Files Federation Gateway, and you include the name of the uh, provider that you want the function to be deployed to. That will also influence then how it's going to be invoked. So I'm going to put the certificate intro that we saw last time in Lambda. I've also got another function that allows you to create self-signed certificates. This is more CPU intensive, uh, so I've decided to put this on Kubernetes. So again, let's just check that we've got a blank installation. We've got nothing running in Kubernetes either. Um, we have nothing running in Lambda. So if I just do a FAS deploy that Federation stack YAML, you can see again, we're deploying that into Lambda and then it should follow through with an installation of the cert sign function in Kubernetes. So if we now have a look at that function namespace, we can see We've already got a container up and running based on cert sign go. And in Lambda, we've got this, the cert info. <coughs> so I can invoke functions uh, without knowing where they're going to be executed. Um, let's just, um, let's invoke the certificate signing function. Well, apologies, that's the wrong piece of data. So the payload that you need to send this function is the host name, the key size, and how long it's valid for. And then we'll simply invoke that. I've forgotten the exact name, uh, cert hyphen sign go. You can see that that was fairly quick. It took about 600 milliseconds end to end and it's printed out the, uh, the private key and the public key associated with that. 
I could also um, invoke in the same way that's an info S3 function. And you can see that that's executed on Lambda. And those functions are both presented to us in the, the FAS portal as well. In the same way, you could invoke all of those. So let's say uh, here, I want to go and get the um, Apple certificate. I can do that here as well. So it's pretty seamless. It's the same developer experience, no matter what sort of back end the function's running on. So the last thing I want to show you is removing all those functions. You can see um, in Lambda, we've no longer got a function and we should see that it's being uh, terminated that pod. Great, that's everything. Thank you for watching.